Greetings and welcome to Raw Truth Weekly. Today I'm going to be doing a reading just for relationships, reading for groups one through three. And you can pick a number if you like. If you don't want to pick a number, you don't have to. Just listen to the readings and see which ones resonate with you, okay? So starting with group number one, the reading is talking about feeling like you are equally yoked with someone. Okay, so this is your first card. It's saying that you might feel like this relationship is good, you have a good vibration, good communication, and you might feel like you're equally yoked and things are good. And this could be a new situation is what I'm hearing to tell you. Maybe, you know, no more than six months old, okay? Um, now, what's acting on this is secret family, okay? So this means that there's something that you don't know about this person, either they have a child someplace that they may not know about or they may have a family situation that they're keeping secret from you and what i'm hearing is it could be a situation where they feel like okay well i'm on a break or we've broken up and you know i'm going on my own but this isn't over i'm seeing that this family situation is going to play a major part in this relationship the obstacle the challenge i just said it the obstacle the challenge is another woman Okay, and this is where the secret family is coming from, right? They're not telling you about this woman that they have this communication with or this child with. Okay, so this is why you're feeling like everything is okay because all of the conversation is correct. This is the equally yoke. But what's acting on this is that what this person is not telling you is that they have a secret family. Okay, or they're not telling you about someone who may be pregnant or they may not know about the person who's pregnant but i think they may because the obstacle or challenge here is another woman all right now the advice the spirit is giving you about this relationship is that this man feels like he is a stallion okay he may look good he may dress good he may smell good he may have all the goods all right but spirit is giving you advice about this man and they're telling you that, you know, you might not be the only person that he's dealing with. Of course, here's the other woman. And he really feels like he has his whole life together and he is a really good catch. All right. But the outcome of the reading group, number one, is that the spirit is telling you that this man is a man whore. Here he is. He's a man whore. You know, he's ruled by his lust and his desires and, you know, his situation. He can't control himself when it comes to women. And this is going to be a big problem for you. You know, you might not see it now, but you're going to see it, okay? And you might say, oh, well, this person is with me all the time, and we talk all the time. That means absolutely nothing, okay? So don't let that get you distracted and make you feel like this person is everything that you want them to be. Because, because he is a stallion, that means that he really thinks a lot of himself, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you can be overly confident in yourself, especially when you want to play on people's feelings and emotions with the other woman, all right? Okay, so that is for group number one. Group number two, the reading is speaking about you feeling like or wanting a devoted lover, okay? So it's talking about this person, and this person may be devoted in this relationship or this situation. Let's see. And not only that, the spirits are saying he has the energy of a king, okay? So he's devoted, he has a king-like energy. He is, you know, trying to make this relationship work. But the obstacle or challenge could be happiness. Maybe he doesn't have everything that you want or everything that you feel uh, a man should have in a relationship for you to be happy. Or he could not be happy in a situation or coming out of a situation where he was not happy, okay? The advice that they're giving you is that this could be a greedy lover as well, okay? Like, you know, yes, he could be devoted, but he could be a handful. He could be a lot, you know? He needs a lot. He's very needy. It could be a very attention. It could be whatever it is, sex, whatever it is. He needs a lot of it. And the outcome of the relationship says, hey, this man is connected to Mama Chola, all right? So sex and love and emotions is going to be a really big part of this situation, you are going to, yes, again, let's go over group number two. He could be devoted, and he has a king-like energy, but obstacle or challenge could be happiness. Even though he's good to you and you like him, he's going to demand a lot from you, okay? And this could be in the way of, like I said, you got Mama Chola here. This could be in the way of sex, you know, relationships, the physical act. 
emotions, being overly emotional, needing a lot of attention. So be aware of that group number two. But, you know, it looks like if you can handle that type of situation, if you're a type of woman who's willing to give or don't mind giving that level of attention to someone, I mean, it looks like it could be good for you, okay? Group number three, the reading is speaking about betrayal in your relationship, okay? It's talking about betrayal, backstabbing, disappointment. And what's acting on this is that this disappointment is going to come by way of a queen, okay? So it looks like this queen could be disappointed or, you know, this gentleman could be dealing with someone else with a queen energy, which is going to bring some disappointment to you. And it may not be that, okay? It's the queen that's going to be disappointing the gentleman and doing a lot of betrayal because your obstacle or challenge is another man here, all right? So... The queen is maybe not as faithful or not as committed as she should be in this situation. Now, they're telling you, yes, you may have somebody who really cares for you, who may really like you, and you are not reciprocating this and you're trying to play the field, okay? They're giving you advice about spirits of destruction. It's like this person is not the one to play with. So if you're, you're not willing to be serious, let them know. Please let them know because this is not going to turn out well for you. And then the outcome of the reading speaks of what? Love and truth. Okay? So you, you need to be truthful, group number three, because this betrayal that you, the queen, because you have so many options and you're not ready to settle down, this betrayal that you're going to bring about by way of another man is going to cause spirits of destructions for you. And, you know, you can't love this person unless you want to speak the truth and be truthful with them. All right. So this is your Raw Truth Weekly for relationships. OK, so I hope you guys be honest, be truthful, because a lot of times you can lose a good situation if you feel like, you know, you don't have what you want may not be everything that you want, but it could be the majority of what you want. And the spirit could be sending you the situation. And again, I'm hearing to tell you that people's feelings and emotions are not to be played with. Okay. All right. So that's your Raw Truth Weekly for this week. Um, the Ancestor class will be happening on April the 7th. So please sign up. This is very important because a lot of things are happening right now, you know, in the world. And we don't know where we stand or where we will be standing, you know, in this fallout. So you have to have your ancestors by your side. So please go to spiritualsupplycenter.com and sign up for the class on April 7th. If you would like a private reading, please go to spiritual, I'm sorry, please go to thepriestess.net. And if you want spiritual supplies again, spiritualsupplycenter.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have a great one. Talk to you soon.